Welcome to Venting with V, and this is yet another episode. Okay, so for today, I wanted to talk about triggers and the inner child. And so triggers, I think it's something that's like popular in you know like social media people just be like hashtag triggered when someone like blows up or something like that or when when you're offended and it takes you to you know that place like triggered that triggered me you know or um if something was genuinely upsetting or it's sometimes used like kind of as a joke but what's the difference between triggers and the inner child well a trigger is related to a traumatic traumatic event that has happened in the past so it's something painful and um, it's something that you actually need healing from whereas the inner child represents a need that you have had or that you continue to have or that you might have for the rest of your life and it's just like maybe a need for um, nurture or a need for just feeling chosen and a need for just feeling loved or a need to you know be supported or something like that and so this actually i was thinking about this for a while and then it just like was so perfect came across so perfectly on a podcast i was watching on youtube i'm not going to say which one <laughs> but so basically it was so fascinating to watch and so what happened is um there was an someone a guest being interviewed and so the panel one of the the hosts of the show happens to be a female and the the guest is also a female and so then the guest um turns to her to the host the female host and she brings up something that the host had said when she was interviewing someone else in a different episode and so the guest is like you know i didn't like when you said this this is this, this this and what they did on this episode which was i wish like this could happen like in real time but what they did is they put a clip as she said that a clip of that podcast episode from the past and it showed that the host hadn't said anything like that and so the guest was like you should have said this instead and so when we saw the clip that's actually exactly what the host had said and i know i'm like kind of laughing at this but this has happened to me too it just didn't happen like you know <laughs> on public on public tv like that but i think it's something that happens to us a lot more often than we think but we just don't have the opportunity to play a real time you know video <laughs> of a recording from the past and so i think this was a good example of a trigger and th- i think this is something whatever she felt was said i think it's something where she experienced it in the past and it caused her a lot of hurt a lot of pain or whatever and every time you know something reminds her of that it takes her back to that place and those feelings come as strongly even though it might not be what this person in the present is now saying and actually in honor of being vulnerable i would like to share my own personal story so <laughs> you guys may or may not know that i do like singing i'm not I, i'm growing in it um but so i had auditioned for something and after i auditioned so let me just put it out there one of my insecurities is because my voice i haven't spent much time developing my voice developing my style and i've never like really felt comfortable you know in my music and so when i got feedback all i remember feeling at that time was rejection and i just remember whatever was said emotionally what i took away from that is they were masking their bias with words i wish i could say this more clearly but it might give away too much so what happened is i was put in a different group which was still a good group but just not the group that i had wanted and so i just remember for over a year actually i didn't even last a year but for months every time i attended I just had this feeling of I'm only here because I got rejected. I'm only here because of their bias or whatever. Fast forward, um over a year later, 
like this was maybe a couple of weeks ago or something and i remember that moment and i was like um yeah i remember that moment it was terrible that sucked and i was like i wonder if that email is still there i should go back and read it and i just remember when i went back and read it i felt like this was a totally different conversation because that email was actually so constructive that email was actually so kind and it was actually like so objective and helpful and it's not like they just gave me feedback but they were like okay so here's what we're going to do so we can help you get from stage a to stage b and i just remember sitting there like you have to be kidding me like how did i get that feeling of rejection and and bias from this and i think it just went to show me that when you have an insecurity that you're not very conscious of uh, you will twist things to confirm that like someone could say 10 good things and if they say one thing that's like kind of you know alluding to that insecurity of yours it's just going to amplify that one thing and just like blow it up into this one negative thing you'll convince yourself that all of the nice things they said were just being fake or whatever it is and that's the importance of being aware of our triggers and our inner child is because if you're not conscious of these things you will have you can have false memories just like i did that was a false memory i had and honestly if there was no email i i would have pr- pretty much probably just like stuck with that impression for the rest of my life and so it just showed me wow like i wonder how many other conversations or people have been mad at because i misinterpreted something i misunderstood something or i didn't hear the whole message and i think that's why it's important that when we have the opportunity to to let other people also kind of explain themselves a little better instead of just being like oh wow they said that you know but to give them an opportunity to explain what they meant because sometimes context changes the message and also going back to the inner child you might still be like okay this doesn't sound clear honestly it's not I don't know how to explain it well myself because I haven't looked into this but basically the inner child just like represents a need you have and for me that sometimes a need to feel chosen and when I say chosen I'm not talking about like someone taking my side but just to feel chosen like even if it's someone saying if, even if it's someone trying to understand me that makes me feel chosen but you know depending on the context sometimes i can't have that and sometimes i have to remind myself v you are feeling hurt right now because you want someone to choose you and i'm going to encourage you to choose yourself and what choosing myself looks like is me being aware of my own needs no matter the outcome of that discussion and being say and being able to say my needs matter whether or not the other person accepts it accepts that but to say my needs matter and i'm going to find a way to get these needs met if it doesn't work out in here i can find a way out there somewhere or maybe if it's really just some time to myself or some time to journal or some time to let myself feel what i'm feeling and so like think about it like what is your what is your inner child looking for sometimes it's approval and if you're aware that um every time i post this there's someone i'm hoping will like this someone i'm hoping will see this picture and see how well i'm doing on social media <laughs> so i'm hoping this person will see this and then i'm hoping they like it and then that's going to meet my need for approval but if you're aware that a part of you is actively seek actually not even actively sometimes subconsciously looking for that need to be met you can find healthier ways of meeting that need and i think for some of us it could be maybe when you're younger you never felt smart and so you you tend to overcompensate either by trying to make what you're saying sound complicated or coming out too strong you know just to seem overly confident because a part of you just wants to meet that need for just feeling like you're smart enough like you're good enough and if you're conscious of that you can say okay i recognize that in this moment that's what i'm doing and i'm going to change my approach because i want to communicate to be heard to be listened to to be understood and right now i'm going to say i am good enough reminding myself i am good enough in this moment whether or not they think i'm smart i am good enough 
so I guess the inner child, um, but the inner child isn't necessarily linked to insecurity because your need can be for a normal and a good and healthy thing, like a need for love. And one of the things I think about is like if you're in uh, kind of a disagreement with someone and you're arguing about, I don't know, let's say the shower curtain, but actually it's not really about the shower curtain (laughs) for you. For you, it's a need to be listened to. But if you're conscious of that, you can kind of divert and become more honest about what you're actually needing in that moment so that you're not just complaining about everything. And also being able to understand, is this a need that this person can meet or is this something that I have to deal with on my own? And so what I learned just from, you know, this past email example was just that before you respond, before you make an assessment, read something and if it makes you super emotional, whether emotionally super excited and happy or emotionally like really offended or hurt or angry, give yourself some time, come back to it and number one, be like, okay, what are the what's what about this is making me feel this way? Number two, what's is what's something positive about this person I can remember? Or something positive about this situation that's happening, or is there something positive that's said in their message? And being able to highlight that so that you're not having this bias. And then thirdly is what would you like your goal to be? If you would, if you have like some kind of value that you absolutely cannot compromise, then your goal in this situation could be, I want them to understand that this is what I want. Um, or your goal could simply be, you know, just to communicate to them how you're feeling and to understand what they meant by that so that you can both, you know, meet this um, overarching goal together as a team. So just be conscious of what your inner child is trying to say in different moments. Sometimes your inner child might be saying, I want to rest and be creative. Listen to that. Okay, so <laughs> that's all for today. I feel like I haven't done it justice. There's, there's more scientific language I can get and, you know, proof. But that's kind of just an idea I was thinking about and just wanted, wanted to kind of voice that before I really got in depth with it. Um, but thank you again for listening. And I hope you have a fantastic week. This has been Venting with me. Bye.